Over the past few years, Star Wars has been a disaster. The people in charge of the franchise have ruined the stories of beloved characters, fired actors that people really liked, and they also have failed to impress real Star Wars fans. But apparently it's not just fans who are upset with Disney's treatment of Star Wars because Marsha Lucas, George Lucas's ex-wife, is pretty furious over their treatment of the franchise as well. I have an article I want to show off in a bunch of tweets, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted, and if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or supporting via membership. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So let's start off with this Cosmic Book News article. It says, Marsha Lucas thinks Disney Star Wars sucks too. Marsha Lucas, who happens to be the ex-wife of George Lucas and the Oscar-winning editor of the original trilogy, happens to think Disney Star Wars sucks too, including Rey. In the new book Howard Kazanjian, A Producer's Life, which goes on to the life of producer Howard, who produced Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, Marsha Lucas goes so far as to say that Kathleen Kennedy and J.J. Abrams don't get Star Wars, that it sucks and she thinks their ideas are terrible, which are all true. It says, I like Kathleen. I always liked her. She was full of beans. She was really smart and really bright, a really wonderful woman. So outside of business, she likes her, which, okay, I mean, I don't know Kathleen Kennedy outside of what I see she's doing with Star Wars, and I don't like what she's doing with Star Wars. She might be a wonderful person outside of that. It says, and I like her husband, Frank. I liked them a lot. Now that she's running Lucasfilm and making movies, it seems to me that Kathy Kennedy and J.J. Abrams don't have a clue about Star Wars. They don't get it, and J.J. Abrams is writing these stories. When I saw the movie where they killed Han Solo, I was furious. Absolutely, positively, there was no rhyme or reason to it. I thought, you don't get the Jedi story. You don't get the magic of Star Wars. You're getting rid of Han Solo. And then at the end of the last one, The Last Jedi, they have Luke disintegrate. Now, clearly this was written after The Last Jedi, but before The Rise of Skywalker. It says in their spinning out movies every year, and they think it's important to appeal to a woman's audience, so now their main character is this female who's supposed to have Jedi powers, but we don't know anything about her. It sucks, the storylines are terrible, just awful. Now, I understand that the actors are getting older and they want to end these characters' stories before they don't get a chance to. Unfortunately, that happened with Carrie Fisher. She passed away before they could even finish the sequel trilogy to end her story properly. So, of course, they had to use older footage they recorded, but they killed off Han Solo and Luke Skywalker in the worst ways possible. They didn't feel like the death these heroes deserved. They felt very bizarre and like they had a couple of hours to put together a script and plan deaths. I've been saying for years now that Kathleen Kennedy has no clue what Star Wars is, and J.J. Abrams has no clue about Star Wars either, and so many people have been saying this too. I understand that people are put into positions of power at companies to make sure franchises make money and new content comes out for them, but I truly believe they should have a shred of knowledge about a franchise, and they don't in this case. Another quote by her also talks about the Phantom Menace. It says, George is in his heart and soul a good guy and a talented filmmaker. I wish he would have kept directing other kinds of movies, but I went to see episode one. I had a friend who worked at uh, ILM who took me as a guest to a preview, and I remember going out to the parking lot, sitting in my car, and crying. I cried because I didn't think it was very good, and I thought he had such a rich vein to mine, a rich palette to tell stories with. He had all those characters. And I thought it was weird that the story was about this little boy who looked like he was six years old, but then later on he's supposed to get with this princess who looked like she was 20 years old. There were things I didn't like about the casting, the things I didn't like about the story, and things I didn't like. It was a lot of eye candy. 
I feel like everyone used to dunk on the prequel trilogy saying, oh, how bad it was, how bad the story was, the casting was, it just wasn't amazing. But now that the sequel trilogy's out, everyone's kind of changed their minds. I personally didn't ever really mind them. I didn't think that they were that awful, but I want to head over to Twitter to read some of the responses to her statements because there are a lot of people praising her, but there are also a lot of people who are attacking her over simply having an opinion. Somebody said, things said in no uncertain terms, thank you, Marsha. Someone else said, well said. People are saying things like, George Lucas's ex-wife blasts Disney for ruining Star Wars, and I wanted this trilogy to be amazing. I thought when Disney purchased Lucasfilm, it was going to be fine because they had so much money to throw at this franchise. I thought that it was going to be so good. I had a lot of hope for it, but unfortunately now we all see how this turned out. It turned out like a disaster. People are saying things like spitting facts. Somebody said Marsha Lucas truly knows the soul of Star Wars. She was a secret weapon in the early days. She tells it like it is, and it is exactly what we already knew. Reading this made me truly happy that it was deeply felt and honest. It made me feel like I want to send an air hug, and a lot of people feel like this. She knows Star Wars. She knows the history of Star Wars. She knows the man who created Star Wars, so of course, her opinion is valued, and it does matter to fans. So, of course, even though she knows the history of Star Wars and she's allowed to have her own opinion, there are people attacking her, saying her opinion is unvalid. Somebody said, for someone who worked on these things way back and knew the secret to making Star Wars work, you'd think that Marsha Lucas would have a bit more to say than you killed characters I like and Rey is OP. She's allowed to have her opinion. If she wants to make one statement and say, it sucks, she's allowed to. She doesn't have to give you an explanation as to why she doesn't like it. She said, simply gave this quote for this book saying, yeah, Kathleen Kennedy is a good woman, but she just doesn't know what she's doing with Star Wars and everything they've done with Star Wars so far has sucked. Somebody said, woman so misogynistic, she sounds like your average alt-right Star Wars fan and their minions. Just because someone's got an opinion doesn't mean that she's a terrible person. People are allowed to have their own opinions, especially on franchises they used to help create stories and movies for. People are just looking for a reason to attack her. Somebody said, I mean, she's in her right to share these opinions, but I can't help but question them. Like, the point of uh, the ST was to pass the torch to a new generation. Is the original trio just supposed to live forever in her view? I personally was looking forward to see what they were going to do with the new generation. If they were gonna, you know, have uh, children, or if they were gonna find random new characters to bring in, whatever the case may be. There were so many different directions they could have gone in and instead they went with Rey. She's such a boring and basic character. They tried to make her seem so epic and amazing and it just didn't work. Maybe that's because of the actress choice, maybe that's because of the writing, maybe it was a combination of both, but the direction they went in, in my opinion, wasn't done properly. It's okay to start planning for the future and planning the next generation of the Jedi and the Sith, but the problem was that they killed off these amazing characters in the worst ways possible. Again, Carrie Fisher doesn't really count in this situation because she unfortunately passed away, so they just had to try to wrap up her story. But when it comes to Luke Skywalker and Han Solo, they killed them in the worst ways possible. It didn't make sense. It felt very forced. It's like they didn't want to keep these characters around anymore, which is a shame because so many Star Wars fans watch these movies for those characters. They could have at least given them a hero's death and given them an amazing ending, but... Scrolling down, people are saying things like, she is correct and she always has been. George Lucas's ex-wife and one of the original editors for the first Star Wars movies had this to say about the sequel trilogy. I think it's hilarious that in this book she came out and just gave her honest opinions because so many people won't. There's a lot of people, whether it's in Hollywood or just the entertainment scene in general, that won't come out and say their honest thoughts because they're afraid of being canceled, they're afraid of being attacked or not getting new jobs, and she just does not care. She literally came out and gave all of her opinions for this book and a lot of people are praising her for them. 
I love Star Wars, so anytime a project is announced for Star Wars, I automatically get excited because I have high hopes for this franchise. Unfortunately, ever since Disney purchased Lucasfilms, it hasn't been amazing, but I think we all still have hope that they can turn it around. The sequel trilogy, at least in my opinion, was pretty freaking terrible, and apparently to Marsha Lucas, it was also really, really bad. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.